So this just happened. I walk into the barn and Finn is loose from his stall. He ate all the treats. Get in there. Get in there. Get in your stall. I don't know how he broke loose because I made sure this was closed. And he ate hay. Must have just happened. Hey Storm, you upset? He ate all your treats? He ate all the treats, empty bag, another empty bag. He moved everything around. At least he didn't uh, go into the grain room because the door was securely closed. And go in there and eat all the grain. I don't know if I should give you your food now. All right, well, I don't think he's been out that long because judging by the mess, but anyways, welcome to today. Good morning, guys. It's Friday morning. The horse shelter is not coming today. It's coming tomorrow. So there's one less load off our chest today, uh, but the fair is coming, so we got to clean up this barn. So this is the carnage in the morning that we have to deal with every single morning on the day by day farm poop everywhere they don't eat all their hay they rather pee on it and someone keeps making a mess here stealing chairs and chewing things out of boredom now i know who did the chair thing because i tell you right now it must be a palomino thing let me know in the comments below if you think it's a Palomino thing because when Finn is in here, he's bored, he takes stuff out of there, he moves stuff around, he, he often does the water bucket and moves that around. I think it's a Palomino thing. So I'm thinking, little Gracie here. Gracie, did you do that? I'm thinking Gracie did the mess. In the comments below, let me know if you think it's a Palomino thing. If you have a Palomino, does he do or she do the same thing? Make a mess of everything. Hi guys, welcome to the video. Today is all about me because it's nine more days to my birthday. Wait, what? Uh, nine more days? And this is my Schleich setup. So, oh, oh crap! I, I think Belle was in here. Ever since my mom cleaned out my room, I've been playing with Schleich. I'm really excited to start playing with it again now that it's winter. Okay, so this is Polly, and she's in this field. I, I I don't know where the other door is to this, so I just put a piece of fencing. I wonder where she learned that. <laughs> We do it too. Gabby's all teenagehood over there. <laughs> With mascara on. Oh no, we are never wearing mascara, right? You always wear mascara. I know, but you're never wearing it, right? Yeah, because it's too much for putting it on. Yeah, I hear you, sister. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Today, Sophie's been upstairs all morning. Today, we don't have school because it's a crazy day. We are at Crazy Town, you guys. <laughs> days till my birthday nine more days till Sophie's birthday and we are at crazy time so basically I forgot that we don't have time to rest or relax or eat breakfast this morning and I did all that now we have to run go down to the barn and get ready for the farrier Let's nine more it. days till my birthday hashtag nine more days oh good it looks nice clean I know I washed it yeah so Sophie gave me yeah, I'm gonna need this though I'm gonna need stuff. yeah so none of uh, Sophie's old tack fits Finn right Oh, she gave me that one. Yeah, and it has Stella's name on it. Anyway, and ten welcome. Bucks for both of that is a good deal. Yeah, and ten bucks she gave me for that. Anyways, um, uh, welcome to today's video. Today, um, the farrier comes. The shelter was supposed to come, but the guy can't get anybody to help him. So it's coming tomorrow while we're at the horse show. So yeah, that's gonna happen. We're not gonna be able to be here and um, micromanage the guy's delivery. So that might be a good thing. Anyway. Right now we need to get ready because the farrier is coming and whenever somebody comes to our barn, I'm like, clean it! <laughs> Hurry up, get it clean! Yeah, I get so grumpy. I'm like, let's get it done!
procedure that we do when the farrier comes. We, we love our farrier. He is phenomenal, phenomenally as skilled and we never want to lose him ever. Like, your feet is the foundation of your horse, right? 10.40. What's it say? Oh, 10.40. 10.40. 20 minutes till farrier time. So, basically what we um, do is we bring all the big horses in the barn. We bring all the big horses in the barn. And the reason that we do this is because Stella does not like the smoke when they get new shoes. And if she's in here and Storm gets his shoes first and Stella smells it and then she gets all her huffing and puffing out of oh, her system also, before her turn. We always do the farrier right Yeah, we here, always do the farrier. Like across from Stella. Yeah, so then she huffs and puffs, not a good does all her like complaining and then when it's her turn, she's all super chill. So we do Storm first, then Stella. And we say Finn. Storm will go second last. Yeah, first we do the ponies, then we do Storm, then we do Stella, and we save the best worst to last. Because I think our farrier doesn't love doing Finn because Finn has tried to kick him a couple of times. He doesn't love his back feet. He's never loved hey. anything. Whoa. Hi. You know you're tied up. He doesn't yeah. love anything to do with his back feet being handled. So we do it last, and I kind of talk to Finn down well, and like fly spray. And we just get it done. We just we just do it, and that is our procedure for the farrier. Do you guys have a so procedure guys, for the farrier? The easiest goes first, which is Willow. Mm -hmm. But sometimes no, she doesn't me. pick up her foot, so you just have to pick it up. Yeah, I noticed that. Why doesn't she do that anymore? It's because she's lazy. Mm -hmm. Do you want to pick up my horse's back? Oh, I'd love to pick up my feet. Let's do it. Oh, that's such a good exercise. My back. My we should do that. Back feet. Pick it up. Watch. Oh, that feels so. Oh, that feels so good, but kind of sore too. Don't lift it up that Mom, high. Mom, do it to you. Sorry, because I'm carrying his leg. Well, his arms are around. No, his leg. Yeah. Mom, I'm gonna fall. Ow. Okay. So oh, anyway, um, that's what we're doing right now. We're getting them ready. Uh, today I mentioned is Crazy Town, which means that we have show prep day. Storm doesn't necessarily need a bath. He almost spilled that over. Storm doesn't necessarily need a bath. Ooh, at the level of riding that we do for his like, show. He is dusty. He is so dusty it right now. No like that dust off. Yeah, like it's okay. bad. So he's gonna have to have a bath. I think Gabby's gonna do the braiding first, she decided. And who am I to challenge her? Let's let her make her own mistakes and see if it works out. If it works out, that's awesome. We are getting ready for our last show of the season. Um, you guys, any of you guys who have been following us for a while know that I did not buy myself any half chaps until just before my first show. And the reason is they're really hard to fit. I've shared that sentiment in several videos in the past while I was searching out half chaps that would fit me. It has been a struggle. The girls are really particular about the half chaps that they they will wear. Um, Sophie's the only one currently and I that wear half chaps. Gabby wears tall boots but um, even she has a really big struggle with finding the right size. Recently a company called Pro Chaps reached out to us and told us um, that the motto of their company is that everybody is different and that they actually make semi-custom half chaps. So basically, they get you to take two quick, simple measurements of your leg and um, with that information, they can design and fit your leg so much better than just going to the store and picking up a bag of half chaps. Yeah, skeptic? Yeah, I was too. Until these beauties arrived. Pro Chaps makes two different kinds of half chaps. They also make a full, a full uh, chap. They have the regular ones that are called the Fit Half Chap, and then they have their Pro Half Chap line. And we got both of these for Sophia, and I'm excited to show you the differences of them. And she's gonna keep one pair, the Fit ones, for riding at home, and then she's going to save her competition ones for only competition. You guys are like us. It's show day, and we come down to the barn to get ready, and this is what I find. I find Sophie's boots attached to her half chaps, her current half chaps, and they look like this. So the day before the show, I'm always in such a hurry to run up there and wash her half chaps so that they're ready. Um, having, having two pairs, the competition pair, a pair that she will wear every single day, 
and then having the competition pair will really eliminate that because I can wash them right after a show and then I, I can just wipe them down after a show, put them back in the bag, hang them up, and then they can sit there and be perfect for the next show. Don't you love that? You guys did not get to see the supplement that we bought yesterday. This is it. Sam picked it up for me on his way home from work. I think it's a 50 pound. Okay, it's a 50 pound? 14 liters? I don't know. Whoops. Anyway, it's a big bucket. It's called Quiescence. It costs $144.95. Comes to $200 with tax. $203. I'm loving the fact that you know how to braid. I'm so glad. Anyway, sorry, the farrier arrived. But anyway, this Quiescence is what I think has made such a huge difference for Stella. It's incredible. It's phenomenal. I am so in love with it. Um, basically, it's chromium and and oh it's chromium and magnesium which are just two vital um minerals that horses need people need them too um and it if it if your horse is low in these then you'll notice a difference when you give it to them if your horse doesn't need this then you won't notice a difference it's really expensive i hate that i don't give it to finn instead i give uh, I give Finn just plain magnesium. I don't give him with the chromium. Going strong with the farrier here. Uh, storm is done. Stella's getting shoes. Wait till I show you the pads that she's getting. They're super fancy. And last horse to go is Finn. We always save the best, I mean worst for last. He's taking the time at the barn where we're where we're stuck down here um, while the horses get their feet done. He has 16 braids in right now. There's room for more. Um, 16 braids is his new record. He's like, his yeah. record last show was 14 braids, so now it's 16. Impressive so far. You're probably gonna get 18 in there. So I know a lot of you guys are yeah, confused. In hunters, you want the more braids. No, you want the more, like, more braids closer together so that it's like yeah. storm. Close together. But he has thin mane, so this is a record for him. Yep, looking good. They're sleeping, you guys. They're resting. Gracie's protecting Willow. Yeah, okay. So look at this. Yeah, let's do it. So the worst thing Finn does. I don't know how to put my leg like that's the worst Finn does with his legs. When we, look at how white that is though. Like look how clean that is. Clean cut. Wow. Look at that though. The frog is gorgeous. Anyway, put it, try and put it between your legs. But look at Finn when Gabby does this. When the farrier goes near Finn's feet, Finn tries to kill him. Finn literally, like he tries to pick up his front feet and Finn like, does all the motions like the farrier is like oh my like finn tries to kill our farrier yeah yeah that's like so much fun anyway the farrier should just let me do this i'm like you know oh, like so do. every time we say finn to laugh because he's not good and getting worse and like the okay, farrier finn's said ready to go out. the farrier said i couldn't even give him a smack like if, if he tries to kick me i can't even smack him because he has it in his mind already like he, the farrier thinks it's the, if he gave finn a smack Finn would literally kick him like hard like that's it's oh, bad so I said to him you know I have a whole bottle of ace that I bought a long time ago just to have on hand in our thing and I said do you want me to give him ace next time and he said yes and our farrier is not like that like he doesn't but yeah that's how bad Finn is and all he does is get a trim to do Finn's feet. And he's nothing like that with us. Like he's an idiot sometimes, yeah, but he's nothing like that. Like he's not so rough with us. All right, so you guys ready? You wanna see the fancy that Stella is? Stella's so fancy. All right, get ready. Hi. Stella doesn't like getting her feet done either, but she's not like Finn. Like she'd be a little, oh, thank you. She'd be a little scared, but nothing. Ooh. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, shavings. Gosh. And it's stuck to her. Because he put silicone. He put silicone in there. These things are $50. 
just for the pads. Oh, <laughs> you should I grab knew a that was going to happen. You can't do anything to these. Anyways, so, oh man. Grab a hoof pick. Look, so that's what it looks Grab like. Grab a hoof pick. No, you're not allowed to right pick here. them, he said. So this is what it looks like, though. This big, thick plastic. See it? So no, I don't have to pick her feet anymore. It's it's like frog support, frog support, and uh, I like them. So and then he put silicone inside them. So that's an idea. If you guys can see. So we are back down at the barn. We just have some supper. Our last puppy is going to his new home today, so we're gonna get ready and go do that. Sam and I. Um, we are giving Storm his bath. He's like, oh Lord, I know what you have in store for me. This guy has been so good lately. These are the Pro Chaps Fit brand half chaps. They are meant to fit like a second glove. They are made out of this really soft, supple leather. And then they have the elastic. These half chaps with full length, easy side zip, waterproof, buttery soft leather was designed in the spirit of the authentic innovation to meet the needs of any kind of equestrian. Pro Chap provides a perfect fit with zero break-in period from day one. They're water repellent and ventilated. hard it is to find half chaps that fit well especially if you're like me and you have a wider calf or like Sophie people over at Pro Chap want all of you guys to be able to get half chaps that fit like a second skin I will put a link in the description box below for you guys to get 50% off your own a pair of Pro Chaps if you're in the market for a pair of half chaps that fit you, um, that are designed to fit you like a glove, then go ahead and click the link and go over there and shop and buy your own pair for 50% off. That's such an incredible savings. Thank you so much Pro Chaps for sponsoring this video. Today wasn't as crazy as I thought it would be. We had so much going on today at the shelter. Can you add this to it? Yeah, and the bug spray, you got that? The shelter didn't end up being sent to us, but it'll be here by the time we get back tomorrow. And, um, but any day that you spend three or four hours in the barn um, with horses doing their feet, especially when you have a horse that has issues with the farrier, it can make it a really stressful time. Our farrier, farrier is awesome. I don't know what is wrong with Finn. Every single one of us can pick up his feet. And remember, you guys remember how much trouble we used to have with his back feet? Now, see, he lifts it up for me and then I can just take it. He lifts his foot up for me, and then I can just pick it right up. Like, he doesn't give me an, any issue. He doesn't give Sam any issue. Yeah, let's show a piece of you. He's like, what are you doing? You guys know. But literally. He's always better with his foot. Yeah, he's always better with his, but. He's better with his foot. I mean, he doesn't love it, but he doesn't try and kill us. Like, he was in, in, I've never seen him like that. Like, he was so. He hates Horrible. when people bug him when he's eating. It doesn't matter. He doesn't act like that towards us ever. Yeah. Aww. He does love you. Right. Anyway, uh, that is it for today's video. We're going to go drop this puppy off at his new home. And then we are going to go to bed extra early. We are packed up, ready to go. The horses are almost in their grain. And yeah, 
Tomorrow is our last show of the season. It is our last show of the season for sure, 100%. Stella's there loving her new shoes. I can't wait to ride her. It's gonna have to wait till Sunday. I'm it's gonna, gonna ride be. Her first. Yeah, it's gonna be exciting to see I'm how she does. Her. Our farrier said that with horses like Stella, when they founder, mm -hmm. It makes the bottom of their feet really shallow and it can cause them all sorts of pain just having that flat, flatter foot. And that putting the pressure on from those pads um, will create more blood circulation and then will hopefully mm -hmm. fix all that whole problem. So this is just a temporary solution. Hopefully it is the problem we will see tomorrow. I am super excited. Anyway, that is it. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Wish us luck for our show tomorrow. Uh, it's supposed to pour rain. It's gonna be our first show in the rain. We haven't ridden storm in a whole week because sometimes fresh storm is the best storm at a show. And yeah, so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.